Okay, in this question, we're given a tank with a maximum volume of 100 gallons, an initial volume of 40 gallons with a concentration of 10 pounds of salt initially. We know that there's a flow into the tank at a rate of three gallons per minute, a flow out of the tank at a rate of one gallon per minute, and that the incoming concentration has one pound of salt per gallon. And we wanna know how much salt is in the tank when the tank is about to overflow. Okay, so for this, equation, for this problem, we're gonna first wanna find the rate at which the volume is changing. And we can express that with a change in volume over time. And we know that there's a rate in of three and a rate out of one. So just rate in minus rate out gives us two gallons per minute. Now we want an equation in terms of V at any point in time, but we know how to solve this. So we'll integrate or anti-differentiate and we'll get our volume at any given time. So we get V of T equals 2T plus C. Now we know what the initial volume is. V of zero is 40 gallons. And we get that C is just 40. Now, it'll also be useful later on in the problem to find out what time the volume will be full because we want to know that when the tank is about to overflow. So we can solve for T since we know that the final volume is going to be 100. and we find that T equals 30. So after 30 minutes, the tank will be full. Now we want to express the concentration in terms of how much salt we're going to have as a change dx dt. So we know the incoming amount is three gallons per minute times one pound per gallon. And we don't know exactly how much is going out in concentration because it's all mixing together. So we're gonna subtract X per the gallon at any given time. And we get the following differential equation. The X dt equals three minus X over two T plus 40. Now we can solve this linear differential equation in the normal way. I'll rewrite dx dt as x prime and bring the x over to the other side. So we get x prime equals 1 over 2t plus 40x equals 3. So we're going to find the integrating factor and then use the chain rule as applied to that and we'll figure out what our x of t is. And we know that the integrating factor is e to the integral of this p of t term uh, dt. So we can solve this. And 
and we get e to the one half natural log 2t plus 40. And we can simplify this further. We can bring this one half as a power of the natural log and then e to the natural log cancels. So we get 2t plus 40 raised to the power of one half. So that's our integrating factor and we'll go ahead and plug that in. And we're going to anti-differentiate. This side will just become Bring the constant 3 out front. We get 3 times the integral of 2t plus 40 to the 1 half is equal to 2t plus 40 to the 1 half times x. That's dt. So when we anti-differentiate this, we get Two t plus forty to the three halves, plus our constant c. So I'll just rewrite this up here. Okay, now we're just going to go ahead and solve for x, which is pretty easy. Notice that we're going to multiply both of these terms by this term 2t plus 40 to the negative 1 half. Adding the exponents, we just get the power of 1. So we see that this turns into just 2t plus 40. And then we get x of t equals 2t plus 40 plus c times 2t plus 40 to the negative 1 half. Now, we need to solve for the constant c. So we're going to use our initial concentration of 10. So at time 0, we know that x of t should equal 10. And we're going to solve for c. And we find that c is equal to negative 30 times the square root of 40. Just rewrite it here. So 
So we can plug that back in. And then all we need to know is the concentration after 30 minutes. Plugging in our C. And when we do all of this out, we find that the concentration in the solution is about 81 pounds of salt. 